What's going on, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kenesha Brooklyn. This is Kenny Speak to my subscribers and new subscribers. Bait up your chest. Listen, look on the screen, guys. Listen, it's not adding up. Stop playing with me. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and help a girl grow her channel. I see you guys watching. You guys watching. You're just not subscribing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing. Stop playing, Stop playing with it be done posting for the day i'm supposed to get ready for tori kelly what the hell tiana and iman are separating <laughs> love is dead oh my god the babies i'm so worried for them tiana made a post announcement let's read it y'all uh uh not too much on my bestie in all fairness iman and i are separated and have been for a while oh jesus to be a thousand percent clear infidelity ain't one of the reasons for our departure we are still best friends great business partners and one hell of a team when it comes to co-parenting. Co-parenting, God. Our two beautiful children. Most importantly, we are family. And in the 10 years together, seven years married, we ain't never played with or about that. We just keep y'all asses out of the group chat, LOL. Which is the reason we've been able to successfully and peacefully separate without all the outside noise. The only reason I'm even sharing this part of the chat is because the narratives are getting a little out of hand. And it's unfair to all parties involved. Girl... Who, who, who was leaking it? I ain't hear nothing. I hope this provided some clarity for y'all. Okay, auntie taking y'all back out the chat by. Oh my God. This hurts me more than when Ryan and Keith broke up. I pray they reconcile, dear God. I predicted this. I predicted this back in May and I did not want to say anything out loud because I'm very, very, very superstitious about speaking things into existence. And the last thing I want to do is speak into existence the demise of somebody's relationship. But I peeped this and I'm going to show you why I peeped it. Back on Mother's Day, I saw Iman Shumpert's post about Tiana and I said to myself, These, this isn't like the post of somebody that is like in love with their partner and like it seems like the post is somebody that has adoration for their partner loves their partner as a friend but like a divorced couple possibly and i remember i tweeted about it i cannot find the tweet i probably deleted the tweet because i was just like so like i don't want to put that energy out there also tiana taylor had this incredible like collection with jordan and she, he wasn't promoting it at all he wasn't like wearing any he wasn't at any of like the promotional stuff she was giving out the sneakers to people and i didn't see him in that at all and i was like no what the hell is going on tiana has also had an incredible like if you follow i love tiana taylor so i've been I, I love her so i've been following her for a while and i was like she's been at these fashion shows she's been having all these opportunities I haven't seen him really promote her stuff. He did he did like here and there, but he wasn't really promoting her like he used to. Like anything Sienna did, he was like, follow me, that's right, that's right. And he just wasn't doing that. And I was just like, what's going on? Tiana Taylor and her husband, they operate like me and my husband do. And the fact that I don't talk about my relationship to anybody that's not in my relationship. And there's only one person in my relationship. So you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like our longevity, we, we were together at one point and then we broke up and then we got back together. The part where we broke up and we were like in our worst version of ourselves was when we were venting to other people about our relationship. And it's just kind of like, why vent to somebody if they can't do nothing for you? What am I telling you about my relationship problems for if you can't fucking help me? And and these are like little, little things. I'm not talking about dangerous situations in which I genuinely need somebody to help me. I'm talking like, oh, he didn't do this. Oh, he didn't do this. So I just stopped. And once we started like having like conflict, yeah, conflict resolution between us, we just, we did so much better. So it was, it's just like a rule for us that we don't talk to other people about our relationship. And I saw this and I was like, period. You know, I, I I mean, I'm sad that, you know, they're not together anymore, but at the same time, the friendship, the love seems to still be there. And that's for, to have two kids together, that's all you can really hope for. And I wish Tiana Taylor and Iman Shumper the best as they navigate through this time. And separation doesn't necessarily mean divorce. It could be them just working out what they want to do with the rest of their lives together. If they lastly, stay out their motherfucking business, y'all. Like, let these people figure out their relationship on their own. The only reason why she's even addressing this is because people were saying that, was saying that Iman was cheating. And he wasn't cheating. He was just living his separated life. You know what I'm saying? And they can do whatever they want when they're separated. So wishing her the best wishing her like tons and tons and tons of success wait a minute so you're telling us 
that you leave in your husband of 10 years a man who according to your statement has never cheated never played about you a man you claim is a great father to your two children a man who yourself call a fantastic business partner Meaning that you have been getting to the back together as a unit. So I guess the question on the mind of the congregation is, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, you miss the streets. Okay. Okay. You are answering the call of the boulevard. Okay. All right. The spirit of the cul-de-sac is strong within you. Okay. All right. Well, let me tell you something, babe. From somebody who's been out here for a long, long time. And I'm not here for you, but scammers and disease. Go home. Go home to your husband. Or oh, there's demons. That's that's the enemy. That is the distraction. So a demon can just be something as small as a distraction. You know what I'm saying? So we're all fighting a battle. We're all fighting demons. That's why I said it's about who is being defeated versus who is defeating. I'm de I defeat my I defeat them motherfuckers. I'm not playing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because my God is stronger. There's demons all around. There's demons in human form. There's demons. That's that's the enemy. That is the distraction. So a demon can just be something as small as a distraction. You know what I'm saying? So we're all fighting a battle. We're all fighting demons. That's what I said. It's about who is being defeated versus who is defeating. I'm de I defeat my I defeat them motherfuckers. I'm not playing with y'all. You know what I'm saying? Because my God is stronger. There's demons all around. What is happening? Listen, to all who's thinking about marriage or who is in marriage, it, when you put aside everything, like put aside the possibility of cheating, put aside the possibility of someone else, put aside any kind of betrayal, marriage is hard just for the everyday person. I know that because I've been married for eight years together with my husband for nine it is a hard it is work now let's look at these celebrities not only do they have to do marriage but guess what they have to do everyday life right the busy schedule the parenting and everything else the business the promoting the interviews and where where does where does your marriage come in because it's not really a priority because you're both busy and we're not blaming we're not we don't really know what's going on i'm just trying to let you guys know marriage is hard and my heart goes out to all these people who are getting divorced because divorce is like losing someone that is a significant part of your day a significant part of your life your family and we don't know if it might stay that way or not. At the end of the day, this is sad. This is so sad. This is a family. It's a family, another black family. <sighs> what is going on? Family, pray for your family. Pray for your house. Pray for your marriage. Pray for your children. Pray for your home. Pray for your spouse. Right, there's definitely something in the air. The blood of Jesus on your house and let it not come there, okay? Honestly, pray, stay focused, stay kind. Stay kind to your spouse. Stay understanding to your spouse. Stay serving. Stay serving to your spouse not just the woman the man stay serving how can i help you today what's what is something that i 
can do to just help your day. Stay serving, right? Stay talking, working through things, okay? This is absolutely sad. My heart goes out to them, to the family, and I hope everything works for the best, right? I was watching a guy and he was saying, I, I put on longer clips on my YouTube so that you can see what TikTok is saying. So I've downloaded some clips on what TikTok is saying about this. And he was like, you say he's a good father, he's a good partner, he's a good this, then what, where are you going? Where are you going? And sometimes, here's the thing, sometimes when you're with someone for very long, someone might want something new. And if you truly love them, you have to allow them to experience the life that they are expecting to experience, regardless if you want to be with them, regardless if you want them to stay. Why have someone's body with you, but their mind is not? And so we need to allow ex people that we say we love to ex have the experience that they want to experience even if that experience is not with you. And I'm not saying that is it, but something has caused this. And we gotta understand that. Something, it might not be cheating. It might not be cheating. It might not be infidelity. But something, right? Someone might be have been neglected. Someone wasn't working on meeting someone's knee. Something. something but anyway guys stay prayed up stay praying for your family for your husband for yourself for wisdom and guidance and everything else that we need in marriage marriage is not easy sometimes and you can lose each other in a blink of an eye because you guys were distracted or wasn't paying attention to the little things you know, check out my YouTube channel for more on this topic. If you don't know how, you click on my profile underneath my picture. You will see my profile picture. You will see a YouTube link or icon. Click on it. You'll get over to my channel. God bless. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless.